everyone. Welcome back to What's Happening. So yesterday, we all saw Funky Dineva's apology to Melody and her family. Um, But honestly, many fans feel like it's fake. And that once Carlos King heard that the Melometers were going to boycott the show, he called Funky Dineva in and asked for a favor. Um, now, some people feel like Carlos even paid him. Now, under the post that Carlos King made yesterday, he said Funky is back recapping Love and Marriage Huntsville with these woke eyes. Um, but he said, baby, you know, the season premiere of Love and Marriage Huntsville must be good to get Funky Dineva out of retirement, child. Go watch his latest recap on his YouTube channel and catch up on the premiere episode of Love and Marriage Huntsville on OWN app on demand or DVR. And I truly feel like this was intentional and this was his way of getting back at the Melometers. So he brings in reinforcement to have Funky Dineva, who has over 431,000 followers on the channel, um, he's probably thinking for those maybe couple hundred thousands or 300,000 people who follow him, who possibly may not watch the show. He's trying to drum up viewers, um, through funky Dineva's reviews because the season premiere numbers weren't that great. Only 278,000 people tuned in to watch. And I think that's almost the lowest out of um, even last season's ratings, I think there might've only been one episode that might've been less than this, but that's pretty low for a season opening, um, episode. Um, and then Funky Dineva talks about how he would like to interview Melody. And I think he also mentioned Destiny, but I don't see Melody going back over there to, uh, do an interview with him. Uh, I think that bridge is burnt. I can hear Melody saying, no ma'am <laughs> no ma'am miss nessa no ma'am now destiny might go um if funky dineva pays her she might go over there and do an interview with him but i definitely don't see melody doing that like i said that bridge is burnt and i don't think he can cross back over it um mel is seems like she's focusing on building her empire and taking care of her kids. And that's her focus. As far as I'm concerned, she shows up to do her job and she goes home. This whole apology to me seemed staged and staged and paid. Um, I just didn't understand what the purpose was. Like he could have still did his reviews on the show and it would not have mattered to Melody. Now, there were a lot of people who had some opinions about Carlos King's uh, post talking about Funky Dineva. And some of the comments weren't too nice. Someone said, shut the dirty, dusty, crusty, musty looking fiend breath. Look like it smells, needs to stop faking. He can't stand Mel because he wants to be her. But cannot needs to go jump in a tub of water and keep Mel's name out his mouth we don't believe his apology not at all and another person said and for those people that are tired of Mel and Martell's real life here's what you can do call email go by write Carlos Kang home network or simply stop watching people should want to know and see how their co-parenting progresses if that ever happens y'all mean to tell me you don't want to see if martel graduates out of baby gap into a steve harvey pantsuit <laughs> honestly i think a lot of us don't even care to see uh martel uh but anyway one person said, where's the invoice? Somebody else said, Funky Dineva cannot be trusted with that weak apology. Funky Dineva spewed all those nasty vow words against Mel for no reason. Don't fall for the BS. So what are your thoughts? Drop down in the comments. Let me know. Do you think the apology was sincere? Do you think the apology was staged and paid for? 
Um, and what are your thoughts? What do you think Melody is thinking? Do you think she's saying no ma'am, Nessa, like I feel? Uh, but once again, I always like to know what you guys are thinking. And if you missed Melody's live last night, um, she gave us a little sneak peek of her new makeup line that's coming out. Um, I can't wait to get the text because I want that bubble gum lip gloss. But Anyway, you guys, uh, drop down the comments. Let me know your thoughts. And if you didn't see that live, I will attach it here so that you guys can see it and you can click and watch. But anyway, I thank you all for watching and listening. And I will talk to you in the next video.